today uh -huh. and I have to do a three month blood work follow up. So the sweet little fellow at the desk goes, um, all right, so our first available appointment is January 2nd. I said, no, three months. He goes, yeah, uh -huh. January 2nd. <laughs> no. <Wow. laughs> Blindsided me with it. Start the next quarter. What you were, he thought he was going to say December. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and even that was kind of wild to <laughs> yeah. contemplate. Yeah, it is wild to contemplate. I'm just not sure what happened. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. Like, we recorded, we're gonna, we went to the Wool Festival, and then this is the first day we've been able to record since then. Yeah, but I mean, meanwhile, we have been busy. Netta got her uh, test, her test removed. She's free! Except at night or if I'm lifting anything, I have to wear a splint. But Small price to pay. Yep, I'm mm -hmm. good. And I'm going to occupational therapy, so there's that. And they told you the best thing you could do was knit. Yay! Yes, my ortho doctor and the occupational therapist both said knit as much as you can. What I wouldn't give to have that in writing. Right. You know, like, could you just write this down? That would be fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Love that. And, and it's just now starting to get, I'm starting to get back up to speed. Mm -hmm. It's taken a couple weeks to, like, get to speed, but. You talked about, like, you, we talked about you reorganizing your craft room last I did. Time. And it had really kind of fired you up about wanting to do all the cast-ons and knit all the things. So did you do that? Did you cast on a bunch or? No, actually, I'm not cast on anything new. Um, I had started this sweater right before I broke my hand. Right. And I was about down to maybe here. That's the sweater from the Wool & Co, right? Where you got the yarn. Yeah, this is the Sela. Yes. And then I ripped it back. Mm -hmm. to the collar as soon as I could. So, mm -hmm. and last night I finally split for the sleeves. So. Yay! You've made incredible progress on that. I'm very excited and it's going to Florida with me tomorrow. Yay! So, I'm hoping to finish it while I'm gone. How much knitting are you taking? Three things. Okay, what you taking? This. Uh-huh. The Sophie scarf for Sam, mm -hmm. which I am now ready to start the decreases. Nice. And then I'm taking the, what's the cow called? Cow, cow, Haunted. Cow, Haunted something cow. Hang on. I bought it. The haunted, welcome to the haunted house. Okay, I knew it was something yes. haunted. Okay. Yes, because the first clue comes out on the 1st of October, so it's going with yes. me. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. That's what I'm taking. That'll be awesome. You're not going to stick another extra ball in there in case you finish No, it. but you know, I might stick in a size one needle because when I finish the Sophie scarf, 
There's enough yarn there to make a pair of socks. Oh, right. there you go. Perfect. So I might stick in a, just a needle. Just, I mean, you never know. Just, just, just in cases. Yeah. Just maybe. Is there a yarn shop anywhere near where you're going? Oh, there's nothing near where we're going. Everything is at least 45 minutes away. Well, so. you know, that has pros and cons. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to a place called Cape Sandblast, which is on the little hook in the Gulf that is southwest of Panama City. Are you driving there? We are. That's a lot of knitting time. We're driving at night. I told her to wear a necklace. But I am taking my necklace. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah. yeah. Knitting time obtained. Yeah. There will be knitting. I probably won't be knitting on this at night. Uh, no, with no, the no, most likely. That'd be a good Sophie scarf. Yeah. 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 Or so. socks, but I know vanilla socks are not your favorite muscle burrow time. Be good. Oh, there you go. oh, I could wind some yarn for the muscle burl. Because mm -hmm. that's pretty just to do. You know, usually I think I knit mine on like the US 4 maybe, even when it's fingering weight or a 3 yeah. at least. Okay. So yeah. we get past the increases and it's just zoom, zoom, zoom. I need to see what size needle I did on my other one. Mm. Same one. Because mm -hmm. you have one in the schedule for Dave, don't you? Didn't you get him that? Uh, I bought him that Boston, Boston. album yarn. Yeah, from, from Ooh, you could start it. Fiber Hustle. Fiber Hustle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. He's so talented. I love seeing all the posts that Aaron makes on Instagram because he'll put the record up and um, like the dye pan while he's doing it. He's mm -hmm. just really good at capturing the spirit of the thing. Yeah, well, when I showed it to Dave, he goes, I need that. <laughs> I mean, and he doesn't normally ask for yarn, but he did ask for that one. So. I love that. I love when that happens. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Or I could just take another sweater that's in the round. Well, yeah. Yeah, you could. That isn't gray. I just. That's not gray. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I have that uh, reddish, that tomato yeah. red one. That works in the round. So, anyway, I got plenty I can knit on without casting on anything new. Well, that's very fair. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. The other thing, so it's you got your cast removed, and then we went to wool gathering in Yellow Springs, Ohio, September fifth. It was a Saturday. Whatever that Saturday was. 15th or 16th. Ish. And uh, it, it was... It was the 15th. I believe you. I don't know. I'm guessing. 15th, baby. It was a Saturday. Yeah. It was gorgeous outside. Um, breezy. We were all able to wear shawls for the better half of the day. Um... I've included the footage already, so I guess it's kind of weird to talk about it after the fact, or I will have included <laughs> the footage. You will have seen that we- Pasha has added this. That's right. Uh, but we all got to wear uh, knitting, although- He had to take uh, Like halfway through. By the time we got through the tents and we got over to um, Frogget and the Indigo Guinea- um, Yarn birds. Yeah. It yeah, was, all those. It was hot, so we, we ditched the knitwear, but beautiful day, good sized crowd. That made me really happy always. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, I mean, the peoples give me anxiety, but, but I was glad to see them there because <laughs> that means they're supporting all these businesses. And I always want to see any kind of yarn festival or yarn business do well. Um, we got to meet this really cool vendor I should have looked it up ahead of time. Oh, hang on. I got yarn from there. <sighs> Save the day. Thank you. Red Hill Fiber. Red Hill Fiber. And they were awesome. That is a all-American sourced. It's milled in-house. The owners are, for one, no really yarn. cool. And for two, just super passionate yes. about where they get their yarn from, how they make it, how they produce it. And it was softer than soft, unbelievably priced. So um, I'll have included that information on the screen and I will be sure to link it because that is a business that I want to see there every year. Oh yeah, they, they, were, they were super nice. Yes. And they had gorgeous colors. They, they also, there. what is that? They had something I've never seen before. 
Look at us. The fourth wing. Okay, apparently, I haven't read it yet. Me neither. But, but apparently it's, it's like grown up Aragon. It's like okay, Akatar well. and Aragon kind of. Okay. I can, I can get behind that. Hopefully, I don't know where it is on spice. I don't care. Okay, cool. Spice so, doesn't bother me. Cool. Um, like I don't want anybody to ever pick up my Kindle, so <laughs> right. I don't make assumptimes about Sometimes anybody's reading. It's a little spicier than others, just depending on what she hot. Sometimes she spice hot. can be fun. But too many cuss words bothers me. Oh. Yeah, the unnecessary ones. Yeah, yeah like yeah. if it's a yeah, if I'm it is within a conversation that you would normally have with someone that yes. you would pepper it in. Fine. That's fine, but it's yeah. like the long strings of them. Yes. And the, Every other sentence and that I don't care for. I gotcha. Yeah. So I have not read The Fourth Wing either. I think it's like kind of not older, young adult, but more like, I don't know. I've read it. What do I know? I haven't even looked it up yet, but I do remember because uh, they had yarn to match yep. the they book were cover. officially licensed Fourth Wing yarn. Yes. Yeah. So that was really cool. And it was cool as hell. Yeah. I mean, just be on that. Put it on my list to read. I should probably add yeah. it to my. Yeah. Um, See if Libby has it. One of my favorite things about it does, going. And the, the wait is, is like obscene. several months. Oh, yeah. They're like 87 people want only five copies of this book. Like, uh, I've got an idea. <laughs> get more books. I'll have to buy it. Um, one of my favorite things about the week, about that day, was as we were walking in, there was a lady coming out of the tent oh, yeah. with a cast on. And she looks at me and she raises her arm over her head and she goes, we will knit again. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> it was so funny. It was really cute. It was, it was cute. That was super awesome. Um, so did you did you bring your haul from I did. Wool Gathering? I did. Which wasn't a huge haul. I thought I did pretty good this time. We've um, gone into it with the mindset that we wanted to be responsible. Oh, I don't think I, I was pretty specific oh, about what I bought. I um, I bought new yarn. It's a new base from um, Fiber Seed. I have three of these, and this is their Seed Natural sock. So it's a hundred percent merino wool, but there's no nylon in it. That's gorgeous. And the color is navy, but to me it's got a little green in it, so I don't know. But I have three of those. And to go with it from Red Hill Farm Fiber, I bought their, these are long repeats of color. And so I have a one that starts with the blue and I'll go, well, I think I'll start with the pink up towards my face and go to the blue. And that with the fiber seed, will be the is it alpine bloom I those think are so, so pretty so that will be that what else did i get from there i don't have a kind of northern lights um that it's will be all the yarn i got from there uh, nice you got sure. your kit oh my kit your indoco guinea i forgot it's in this bag oh you sure did just Yes. <laughs> like, no, that was not all. Yes. You oh, this, I'll just show you my I know, bag. I This it, is, I didn't um, it, so. my, it's from Knitter's Bag. It's cute. It's cute. I think she's from Lithuania. It's linen, and it's screen print printed. And I saw one on, um, she's got COVID. That's a lead. No. Ruth loves to knit. Oh. Yes. So I ordered one. But I, like, I got the yarn for the uh, Welcome to the Haunted House Mystery Knit Along from Stephanie Lotvin. Lotvin. And my colors are these. And I've already numbered them, so they're in the right order. Oh, that's I got smart. the same colors except for... Did you get the pink? I didn't get a pink. I got a purple. Right. And... Um, Aren't they pretty? I love no, gray. But mine only needed five colors. Yeah. So. so I laid them out today and did the whole black and white thing because she tells you how to do it. And I have them. And since um, I'm taking this to Florida because the clues start October 1st. October 1st. Sunday, Sunday. And um, I'm not winding them because... Part of my occupational therapy is to grip mm -hmm. with this hand, so I'm going to hand wind them. That's a good idea. So, 
so anyway. Nice. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus there. No, I, well, you're right, but they were in a different bag. That's why I couldn't ah. remember. But I do have a couple other. That was the Indigo Guinea, right? Indigo Guinea, Indigo Guinea yes. Guinea. Yeah. Which, do you remember last year, she had that really bright yellow yes. yarn, and I left her bu her van. Yep. And you went and back. And I went back, and I finally <laughs> got it. And it's still sitting because I'm waiting for that perfect project. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Yeah. So you may, and I do have a couple other. You can go ahead and show you the other ones I have, even though they're not uh, part of the. Let's do wool do gathering. Do the other wool first. gathering. Go ahead. I'm done with that then. Okay. Hang on. I stuck my stitch markers in my little front pocket on my overalls <laughs> there, so I don't lose them. All right. So I got this gorgeous fingering weight yarn. It's super 100% superwash merino from Red Hill Fiber. And I'm gonna try to. Ooh, come on, focus. On this. Oh yeah, it's so that pretty. cinematic thing. I may have. It's all right. Sorry, viewers. I may have screwed us. Maybe, maybe if I put it in front of my face. I don't know, but it is a gorgeous green color. <laughs> it is beautiful. So, it is. That will be um, fingerless mitts for my sister-in-law. And then, okay, so I have been saying these folks wrong <laughs> b-a-h <laughs> it's b-a-h yarns which spells ba in my head but it's <coughs> actually brenda and heather yarns they're super nice have fabulous stripy yarn and i apologize for calling them ba yarns being wrong I don't know, <laughs> just them. just flat out being wrong they're fabulous but i got the to boldly to go boldly it's a so it's star trek related for my dad for socks so i got that oh i also got this one from red hill fibers mm. it's it was a he called them the single ladies like mm -hmm. they weren't real pleased with the way they turned out so i got one i thought eh, make a cute hat very and um from the i got from indigo guinea i got Similar colors to do the Halloween by Stephanie Lotvin, which I've had printed out wanting to do since last year, and I never did it. So I'm going to do it this year, and then I'll do the Mystery Cow next year. So I got yarn for that. I got at the Yarn Birds truck, I got a Leo and Roxy, their, um, like their zebra looking yarn, mm -hmm. but it's like bright green and black, so it'll be really cute. And then, of course, they had a mystery. I do not bring a mystery. And uh, we all know I can't resist a mystery. This is the Yarn Birds mystery, right? Yes. And they have them in cute little pink elephant packaging. Yes. And we got the, y'all got the mystery at the Kentucky Sheep yes, and Wool did. and did really well. Yep. Yes, we did. So I got a skein of Savvy Skein and then mini i'm guessing mini mouse that is so and then the good. other one is from fiber c and it's a fingering weight also in black so and my little stitch marker so that's what i got I oh i was excited about that one Thank i you. think that's all i got but i left a couple upstairs because i already put them away because i was cleaning my craft room and then i was like oh no i need to get those back out how should what about you yeah, well, I was so good. She was. You were good. You'd be so proud. Y'all better be proud. Because I'm going to go hog wild next year when I take myself off the no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next event I'll have to do oh, like no. we'll do like an alt knits yarn crawl like not even sanctioned we're just going I'm All here right. for it <laughs> okay so um if you have seen prior episodes I have been collecting lobby and MA um merino singles kind of one skein at a time and so from yarn birds I grabbed the uh, yeah there we go Okay, this is the Fluoro Morganite color. Um, this gorgeous shawl that I am knitting it to. I can't say no to any kind of hot coral. Obviously. Obviously. Um, the shawl that I'm gonna knit calls for six skeins of yarn. So um, I think with that, I have four. 
So there are two more that I am looking for, but I will not pick them up until next year. Merino singles are like, I mean, it is a super luscious yarn and I am so looking forward to having the finished product, but it's 38 American dollars a skein. So um, yeah, ouchies. So I'm just spacing it out a little bit. I mean, it's worth it and I don't mind saving up for it. That's fine. Sorry. So that and a uh, little notions bag that I did not bring with me are, oh, and I, I forgot to bring, um, oh, no. yeah, Mad Duck Yarns had these teeny <coughs> tiny cross stitches. In little, match boxes. In match it boxes. It was so cute, sorry guys. They're okay. adorable. So, um. I left mine at home too. I forgot it. But yeah, literally in a matchbox. And so they were like little umbrellas with like a little kawaii face on it or strawberries or I think I there was maybe a watermelon. Rainbow. I think I got the rainbow too. Yeah. yeah you both got the rainbow. Um, and it's going in my dad's Christmas stocking because he's the cross stitcher in our family. That is so awesome. And I got a slice of birthday cake from there because it was the proprietor's it was their birthday. So it, I got a bite and it was delicious. <laughs> it was. They got it uh, from Nothing Bunk Cakes. So happy birthday to them. And delish. thank you for sharing birthday cake. Um, so that was wool gathering. It's a fun trip. Always go. Heck yeah. yeah. And then, you know, we accidentally if popped it's into of course. Ikea. Oh, oops. Yeah, we did Ikea. Uh -huh. As usual. I found my advent nom nom calendar. Mm -hmm. um, so that's exciting. I wouldn't mind going back and getting another one for Chris because we always get them for the kids. Mm -hmm. And I should have, I don't know, I guess because we'd gone to a yarn festival. I was in selfish mode. Like I didn't even think of that joker when I got that advent calendar. I was like, yay, chocolate. And by the way, y'all were right. Like that is some of the best chocolate I have ever had. That dark the chocolate bar I got was like, Absolutely. holy moly, that was good. Their chocolate bars are cheap and they're good. Yep. yep. I kept mine in the refrigerator and I just kept breaking off little pieces and like I hid it in the butter box so that my kids wouldn't get into it. I got the hazelnut one. Was it good? Oh, I got the dark and that was fabulous. I'm not a milk chocolate I had, person. I got so two I milk and two dark chocolates. I had a bite of the milk chocolate. It was really good. Yeah. And, and I got the cinnamon rolls, but I did not have one. But they didn't last very long. Did they get them all? No. To the, girls. the girls and Dave ate them all. Yeah. Mm. Uh, there you go. There you go. All right. So, um, what are you working on? I have two things that I brought with me. Of course, this Sila sweater. And Who this designed is... that? I wrote her name down. It's Jonna. I cannot pronounce her last name, I don't think. Oh, okay. Um, One of the fun ones. H-I-C-T-A-L-A. Hitala? Not sure. I don't know. Um, this yarn is Sandus Garn um, Borstet Alpaca, color number 3800. <laughs> it is 97% alpaca, 3% nylon. Well, that's fantastic. Ooh. And I loved it so much when I bought it up at uh, Wool, Wool & Co. Wool Co. Right. Mm -hmm. That I got home and I had regrets that I did not buy a second one. So I immediately ordered another color i know it happens so, it's so lightweight it's yeah. super lightweight it's so um and i tried i i will say that the pattern has a very deep raglan and i thought it's gonna be like mid waist to me if i do all the stitches all the rows so um i talked to penny pj knits about how do I modify it if I'm taking out like all those extra rows? And she told me what to do and I was right. I thought I was right, but I wanted to get her opinion because she's always modifying patterns. And so anyway, so I modified it. So I took out a lot of those um, increased rows on the raglan and I tried it on last night and it hits just where it's supposed to hit. So I was very tickled. Um, the sleeves will be baggy. The sweater will be baggy. 
it's gonna be like a sweatshirt. We love it. I'm very, very excited. And then the, and of course there's no finished objects because the hand just came out of the cast. But um, the other thing is I'm finally on the decreases of the Sophie scarf. Woo! That's cute. That's so pretty. Is that? So, that's Chelsea. No, no Madeline this is Madeline Taj, Taj, Mars and Mars Retrograde. And, retrograde. Yeah. and look. Wow. I mean, still have so much. I have so much yarn left. So that's why I said, I know I can get at least a pair of shorty socks out of it. Easy. Is it fingering weight? weight? It's fingering weight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'd weigh it. I, have, I, to my untrained eye, I would I say that's like get a 75. Yeah, yeah, I bet yeah. you could get a full pair. Yeah, so I'm starting to decreases now. Um, I've done a couple, about 10 rows of straight stitches there. Just to give it a little added length. She's gonna love it. Um, yeah, I think she's gonna love it. I think so too. Um, and that's all I brought with me that I was working on. That's good. That's plenty. Yep. Well, yep. I am still working on my swancho. Slow going, folks. It is slow going. It's something about those like high stitch count rounds where you're just yeah. Like... I have. <laughs> I am knitting this size two. And I have split for sleeves, so that's just one step in the right direction, I suppose. But this part, I have to knit quite a bit more. Um, but it's so pretty, though. I really like the colors, and I really like the yarn. This is the Aegean tweed. Um, all of it's an Aegean tweed, and it's quite delightful to knit with. Yeah, we're fans. You've reached the vanilla portion too, so that yeah. is, I mean. Good TV knitting, good yeah, whatever. Which is so. what I've been doing, but yeah. sometimes I just get a little. Mm -hmm. It's just not enough. <laughs> <coughs> well, that's why you have multiple projects. That's on right. Yeah. I know you've always been a pretty monogamous, but I try. I know. Usually you have a sock and something else, and I yes. think you need to like. I need to bust out, out some more. I do have another Maybe sock on the go. A funky shawl to the mix or I something. Might have that's to. interesting. Uh, this is, I just had it, Fiber Dance Dye Works, and this was a mystery pack where you got, you ordered, she does it every now and again where you order a mystery set and you get several different skeins, base, you, get, you pick and you get different felt stripings, and I think this was like seven year something, I can't remember what it is, I'll find it. Did you pick the sparkle base or did that just happen? It just happened. Okay. It's probably the sparkliest sparkly yarn I've I it's really pretty. It's really sparkly and it's really soft. So I, I enjoy like that. that. So no, I don't yeah. think I've ever uh knit with Stellina. Really? Mm-hmm. You can have my leftovers. Do give it a whirl. I do want to give it a whirl. But that's really all I've got going on right now. Sunday I'll have something new to cast on. But I'll show that in acquisition. Because I just got back recently. Oh. Hat. Yeah. It's not that exciting. <laughs> well, but it could be. I thought maybe you were like, um, <coughs> we talked about you possibly doing a garment last time. So I thought maybe you <sighs> had yeah, cast your eyes. Well, I am working on a garment thing. Okay. I can only do one of those at a time, friend. Ooh. Oh, I like having two or three of those on. Yeah, because yeah. like, there are different points. It's like, it's the same reason I have multiple socks going. Because sometimes, like, I don't right now because I'm trying to finish things. And, like, look how this has blown up in my face. Here I am in front of you knitting a heel flap and going to turn a heel. And that's, like, my least favorite thing to do out yeah. and about. But, okay, so let me show you this first because I only brought two whips. So this is one whip. Um, this is... <laughs> this is a sock set called Young and Menace. I did a pop of color at the top. And I wanted to see, I as I was knitting, I kept peeking down the inside. And I liked what the inside looked like so much that I added a little 16 stitch um, column of just reverse stockinette. So highly recommend trying that out with your speckled yarns. It's just a fun little way to see the colors pop. Um, I'm going to block y'all. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So this is the sock set from Hack Yarn Co. Young and Menace. Did a little garter. I love that. Or a reverse stockinette uh, column. And this, I'll just continue all the way down the foot. 
I am doing a heel flap and gusset since it was a sock set. Um, I could have done any sort, I guess, but um, I'm doing a one by one rib and then I'm sorry that it's purple and hard to tell. I do a three stitch garter flat, uh, garter edge on my heel flaps because it just makes a really nice clean edge that's really easy to go back in and pick your stitches up. So anyway, after that, I'll just turn the heel, pick them up, keep going. But that is my sock whip. And then I'm not worried about this one staying in focus because she's pretty big now. She should fill the screen. She's growing up. Oh, my bad. Okay, hold on. It's in a Hack Yarn Co. project bag. We're going to get better at that part. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. Okay, yeah. this one is in a Fat Squirrel Fibers bag. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it so much. We got that from Wool Gathering last year. Yeah. She was and not there, was this, not there year. this year. No, I was sad. I wanted to see her, but my bank account was pretty joyous. Yeah. Because... I'd have bought another bag. I'd have bought, I'd bought at bought least one. one. Yeah, definitely a big one. Okay, so this... Ta-da! This is... I'm sorry? Yeah. It was pretty loud on the episode we left it in. But it's okay, they'll get over it. Alright, this is the Winter's Beach Cardigan. Uh, this is designed by Andrea Mowry. I'm knitting it in a Gian Tweed. The pink color is fuchsia. The top color is nougat. And fun fact, this is the same main color, this nougat, as Lindsay's nougat in her swancho. But mine kind of reads a little pinker uh, just because the proximity kind of pulls out those fuchsia naps. Um, I also have a fun little right side stitch marker that, uh, they were handing out at the retreat, so slap that bad boy on there. But that is the Winter's Beach cardigan. I have to keep going from <coughs> this point. The pattern calls for 13 and a half inches or so from the cast on edge. I will probably go a little longer, um, just cause my personal preference based on my dimensions is to have more of like a 14 to 15 inch um from like pit to him yeah so after that it becomes dropped shoulder sleeves and i'll knit my way down that it does take a really long time like the, the you know there's a lot of stitches per row because i I'm knitting, I mean, I'm knitting a size five. So there's, there's that, I've got the, the fat girl tax I'm paying there. And okay. so like the rows seem to take a really long time, but it's a good gauge and the needle size is large. So it still kind of flies along. And then cabling has the same, um, just kind of appeal as color work where like I just want to get through that next row and I just want to um you know finish the section of the chart and I actually finally really mastered cabling without a cable needle Ooh. so I can do it on two stitch and three stitch cables nice. Nice. in this yarn if it wasn't as I, like I don't have the huevos to do that with like a super wash or anything <laughs> but slime right out whew. but this <laughs> yarn is sticky enough that I felt okay about it and that made it so much faster Good. so that is my whip awesome it's gonna be Are foes foes I don't have any I don't have very many um I have socks and hats my socks and the brace yourself I think I was only like on a cuff last time we saw it last time we saw each other mm -hmm. so. they turned out super cute I love them they're soft they're fabulous those are a Christmas present so another Christmas present done and I finished my September hat yesterday which normally I have them done the first day of the month I also Ooh. have not blocked this it literally came off the needles last night, and then I realized, oh wait, we're podcasting today. 
I'm gonna try to show them the texture. Let yeah. me hold your neck. It's so oh, nice. It's really pretty. That stitch pretty. is beautiful. Let's Very see if I elegant. can. Oh, there we go. See how cool it is? It's kind of like a, looks like a braid almost, mm -hmm. but, or a cable, but it is not a cable. And the way it kind of, and it, in the, in the cuff, in the ribbing of the hat. Oh yeah. The body of the hat. I don't know. The, it, the decreases were really good. And then the ribbing in the hat. Very thoughtful design. So it took me a little bit longer to get it done than it normally does. Um, I don't know. Maybe I was just spacey this month. She had a lot going on. Um, are you adding a... Oh, it's cute. Um, I am adding a pom-pom. I just need to block it a little bit Is first. it yarn thinner than the other ones? Nope. It looks lighter. Like, the weight of it looks lighter than the other ones. And that it'll nope. bloom. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's the Kilborn Woolens Germantown. And it's all worsted. Really? Doesn't look like a worsted no. weight, does it? It's worsted. Okay, I'm, I'm with Annette now. I, I thought that was sport at best. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I did this a size up from one that suggested. Huh. I did it on eight, I believe. Four. Well, I am not pressuring you to block. I don't believe in peer pressure, but I am curious when you do. Yeah, like, block it, tell them. me what happens. Yeah, blocked all of them. Yeah. Okay. No, I just mean like this is it particular gonna, one with the. I just want to know if it's if the yarn's gonna like plump back out yeah. and look bigger. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't look big, does it? Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, it looks like it's a lot smaller. But okay. now this itself right here that looks worsted. Yeah. But in this the stitch pattern, it looks smaller. So it makes the worsted look yeah. delicate. Maybe mm -hmm. that's what's blowing yeah, my mind. Yeah, that's it. That color looks great on you, though. Are you keeping that? Giving it. Put a pom -pom on it I want to pom pom it and put it in the pile. Who knows where it'll end up? Because mm. my purple hair is covered. That's why you can't see it. Usually, that that color does not. That's why you ended up in that dress. Mm. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. but yeah, that's you gotta show off your big fo. It's your phone. Yes, it's, it's your guys. Phone. Let's do it. Let's do I it. I did it. I did it. This is the rose cardigan that I have been speaking of since I think the first episode. I cast this on, <laughs> I cast this on in April of 2021 and it's done. Yay! <laughs> it's beautiful. It's fabulous. I am really, <laughs> really proud of the sweater. Uh, there we go. So you knit it in um four quadrants it is a lot of purling that does not bother me but you know your mileage may vary uh and then you seam it together which again is not everybody's favorite but i i don't know i didn't think that i liked it but i was just so tickled by the process of it like pulling the stitches together and making the cable that i really really enjoyed it i knit this out of uh, Lobby in a May Merino Sport, which I got in a D stash from a Lobby in a May Ravelry group, um, which I think is a great way to do it. Um, or, of course, you can do like I did and just, or like I'm doing with a shawl and build it skein by skein. Because uh, it's nice to have, it's nice to have nice things. It's just fun to knit with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to do it's it more incrementally. Of a treat. Yeah, it's a treat. So, um, but that just made it a little more accessible to me to buy it as a D-stash. And that's a win-win because whoever had, sorry, I sat on my sock. Whoever had owned it before, that freed up space in their yarn room and their supply to knit something nice. that they love. So, um, Lobby and MA, as far as like their dye work is just amazing. Their colors are really saturated, but they're still bright. Um, there's plenty of dyers out there that do saturated colors, but they tend to all really be like really moody and dark colors. And there's nothing wrong with that, but like, we love the neon. So, um, super comfy sweater, very cozy. Definitely seems like something that you can just do like the dramatic, like wrap around of your sweater. <laughs> it's so pretty. Thank you. I love it. I, I love the sleeves. I love it. I like do. just the length of them mm -hmm. and the slouchy. 
like yeah. the way it slouches at the wrist, but it's also slouchy back here. Yeah, and I had never tried um, knitting or wearing that style of sleeve, but I could definitely see emulating that in another garment. Um, like anything that had a big enough armhole opening, I would just not do any decreases at all until I got to the elbow and then wrap a decrease down. And it looks comfy. It looks like it's it one of those, like, on a rainy, cool day, just be all snuggled up in your, you know, in your jams and your comfy cardigan. Yeah, I am like, I'm such a homebody, such a homebody, so <laughs> my knits, I think, I always want, that's what I, that's how I imagine knitting, like if I see a sweater I want, that's what I'm imagining doing is like, that's what I do, with a cup of coffee, yeah. like how would this look on the porch with a cigarette, <laughs> how would this look, <laughs> Yeah. You know, whatever. I whatever gotta take the dog out gets. and it's drizzly. Exactly. What can I wear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, that, because I'm a homebody, yeah. I prefer my knits to be something snuggly. That's it's my lifestyle. I can't wait for it to be cold again. Mm. My garter marler can come back out. That is cozy. I need to, we, we need to we finish. We need to get our <laughs> yes. yes. I would take that with me to Florida, but that's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. She's going to bring all the little scraps that yeah, make it over. Yeah. It is not a super yeah. portable And I project. could finish this one. And it gets heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine is already. Heavy. Mine's down to the bottom ribbing, and then I need to go back and do the sleeves. But it's already. Yeah. No, I'm she's not. She's a chunky girl. Yeah. I'm not anywhere near that yet. Yes. It'll. Whenever you're flipping those sleeves around, yeah. you're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> but don't misread the instructions. <coughs> See, I think I may oh. stop and do my sleeves first before. That's what, I, body. that's what I ended up doing, but mm. yeah, before it gets too heavy. I've already my ships. <laughs> you have the ship sailed. The ship way sailed. Yeah, that is the Alderaan of ships. So. <laughs> <laughs> These things we got. <laughs> Right, you but you know what? Cool? It's your knitting and knit things whatever way you want to. That is yeah. a really good point and a really good thought is that if like ergonomically the weight of that sweater is going to bring you down, do the sleeves. Or make you sad. Yeah. Yeah. Metaphorically or physically bring you down. Yep. I, have, <laughs> I have two more things, but I want to show my bag for my friend okay. Becky. Hi, she Becky. knit me this for my birthday one year. Or made, not knit. She sewed me this. My birthday one it. year, and it's the Doctor Who's. So uh, my sweater is in there. Cute, but I love okay. the cheerful yellow lining. Just I do too. That she did a really good job. Matches the drawstring, yeah. and it's just such a yeah. great. So the only bag. other acquisitions that I have is Mustache Yarn did a oh. fundraiser for Maui, and I she didn't tell us that she got mustache. No, yarn. I did not tell you, did I? So I got that. They are having a big sale. Yeah. And then I ordered from Tippy Tree Yarns. This is a BFL Super Sock. And I had to get this because the colorway is Only Murder in the Buildings. Oh, I didn't realize it's Only Murders. Yeah. OMI TV. Only Murder in the Buildings. And I, I think it. this will be a, um, what did I write down for that? A dot of rays. That'd be pretty. That'd be very pretty. Um, so anyway, I'm kind of tickled. That is beautiful. I saw it. I, I saw she was selling. I'm like, oh, that's fine. That is beautiful. So I love it. It's and it's very... BFL, so it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not like merino -y soft, but it's. Oh, oh did y'all see these speckles? Look at the little mustard pops. Don't look at their face. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the yarn. Look yeah, the it's yarn. gorgeous. This is a very like autumnal purple too. Yeah, it's, um, oh. I'm pretty pleased with it. So I like the colors in it. Um, it's. Mm. I've been wanting to knit a dot of rays Sorry. for a long time. Mm -hmm. How do we know? Um, and I have 900, almost a thousand yards. So it won't be the large one, but I'm gonna make it bigger than the small one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go till I run out of yarn. It's going to be so pretty. So. I love it. And that color really goes with blue jeans too. Oh, I know. Well, Which I wear it a needs lot to of, go with yeah. my linen pants yeah. or my blue jeans because that tends to be my 
wardrobe. And a knitting shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would, yeah, it'd go right now. So anyway, that's my big, so that was funny. my big things that came in the mail. All right. Um, acquisitions. Did you bring your book down? You I did. did. Okay. Um, I ordered this gorgeousness. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by yeah. Pack Yarnko. Really is as bright as it looks. <coughs> yes, it's so it is, pretty. It has these tiniest little pops of orange. It is very pretty. But it is fabulous. I'm pretty sure that's going to be for Eliza. She likes yellow. And then my box for August. There was, there was not a September box. Um, they, her husband was sick quite a bit last month. And so, um, in August, so she, the boxes, she said, well, I, mine didn't arrive that much later Then it wasn't too bad. But, um, so she said that she was going to pause on the monthly clubs and start back up in October because she's already got some planned. So, which is fine. Do no those deal. usually show up at like the start of the month? Like no, they show up. <coughs> she ships them out towards the middle mm -hmm. or like the twenty numbers of the month, but they're coming from a ways away, and that's kind of nice because like at the end just of the takes month, forever. it's a nice table. Oh yeah. Up. So uh, it's called Forest Mushroom Stripe, and I'm gonna stand here so that it's so pretty. I love those colors. They remind me of. Uh, do you remember that brown? PBS so it'll have like a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little here's the stripe oh, oh it's upside down for you oh there we go that's what it should look like the little mushroom dots on it and then my little skein to go with it it's a pretty green and she always sends little gifties i just lost my bag though <laughs> there it is <laughs> and so the little extra bits in this one are little tiny mushrooms i don't know if you can see Hey, you gotta get in there. Here we go. Little wooden mushrooms. Cute. Just to hang around and be around and look cute. And <coughs> cute, cute, cute. Let me put this away. Okay. So I don't. Then today, I can see where it came. I got this. It came in the mail right before. I know some quick shipping. She got hers quicker than me, and mine's in dun, a dun, Kindle dun. <laughs> Yeah, my so next week all of these orders. little posty notes are what Eliza has decided she wants because she's a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. I will tell you that I didn't even know this book was coming out. And then I saw Susan Claudino mm -hmm. has several, has two adorable little stuffies in there. So we got zero. And we got Oogie Boogie. So Oogie Boogie is going to get made, obviously. But there are very cute, there's little ornaments, there's fingerless mitts, there's mm -hmm. the socks. The socks the are socks. adorable. The socks. Yes. Sally socks. Uh, and the mitts, that one pair of yes. mitts is gorgeous too. There's the Sally socks. Oh, that's so the mitts were oh, back this way. Back this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that sweater too. There's just a, a lot of cute stuff in here. There's stockings, there's a blanket, there's pillows, there's ornaments, there's sweater vests. Huh, maybe one that that was in the back. Oh, she has a mark too. Yep, there they are. Those are the ones she wants. I saw it for I saw it on Susan Claudino's post and I was like, boop, went over to I got it on Amazon. Add to cart. <laughs> Immediately. And then my husband's like, Well, you want that for a Christmas present? I was like, No. Too late. I do not. He's like, you could put it on your wish list. I was like, No, no thanks. <laughs> I want it now. Yeah. So I think that's all. I got on. Oh, I, I got mine. Got on and was like, "Oh, it's gonna be Kindle," and I hit Kindle, so I wouldn't have to have another buy another book later. I don't. I don't buy books that often. So, <clears throat> and then I did order all my yarn for the next quarter, so October, November, December. So.
So here's the October hat. Is that your fancy boy design? Oh, heck yeah. My fancy boy design bag. <coughs> There's the October hat. I'm thinking it might have cable or something in it. Nice. And so the yarn is very blue. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's worsted. Nice pattern. So oh, I'm going to stick another one. So I have the November and December ones ready to yeah, go. Yeah, it looks worsted. Maybe it's just the knit sti the stitch on that. I think it's, it's just stitch. stitch, yeah. So I'll start that on Sunday, but I got that done. So yay! So do they just the patterns are already available, or they yeah, do not? the patterns are all available for free on Ravelry. Um, they have like year of knitted gifts, mm -hmm. um, and a year of bulky hats also. I, I don't have a year of sweaters, like quarters of sweaters. Yeah, they're so quarters. seasons of sweaters. Yes. I think is what they're calling it. Um, I probably will not do the sweater one, mm -mm. but the year of knitted gifts I might do. Maybe we'll see. See how I feel about that after going through the full year of hats. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I've definitely admired your process, and I think it's really cool how many hats you've got at the end of it, and just like some of the skill builders and. I have done a lot of things that I like. If I would have like been looking for a hat I never would have knit them mm -hmm. I'm like, mm, nope mm -hmm. no, no. you wouldn't have knit a cable hat nope the lot being, the lot being and brave mm -hmm. but it was <coughs> so easy like when I actually sat down and did it I'm like oh this is gonna be terrible it's gonna be so hard and I was like oh oh, oh it's not at all I wonder if they're gonna drag you into brioche before the end of the year no I think we're cabled from here on out or cably looking is what it looks like um, nice. December's pretty cable -y. Pretty sure this one's going to be cabled. It looks like it. I love of some sort. I don't dislike them as much as I did when I started this process. Um, I also, <coughs> unpopular opinion, don't mind bobbles. Um, just let me do it with a, like, there was one hat where I had to have a crochet hook to do something. The Tam, mm -hmm. the little pinky colored hat. That's that fiddly. It was very fiddly, but it looked cute. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't get too mad about it. But. But the January bobble and cable hat. Woo! Woo! Uh -huh. When I started that, yeah, that I was, was like, I may have made a terrible mistake. They started you out with the tough one, huh? That yeah. was really some kind of way to. <laughs> yeah, it was like, open up a year of hats. I mean, it's pretty. Of course. Of course it was. cute. That's really cool, though. Mm-hmm. But it's been fun. I don't think I would stick to it. I am way too susceptible to the bright and shinies. That's why I have all the whips that I have. Thankfully, I do. I just want to finish things now. Like, I haven't felt the call to new things. I think the whole thing was like it was already picked out for me. I was. Mm -hmm. I knit a hat anyway. I right. knit hats a lot anyway. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have to go look for a hat. It was just find the next month's hat and boop, there you go. Yeah. And like, if I ordered the kit from Kelborn Woolens, then I didn't have to pick out yarn. Yeah. You're right, it's my door. Yeah, that's nice. Like they pick the color out for you? <coughs> it's the color and the pattern. It is the... Oh, I like that. Yeah, yep. I liked it too. So I didn't have to think about it. The only one that I had to do anything different on was the June hat. And that's because the white they used was not available. It was out of stock, so I just bought a cream colored one. Oh, I did have another FO, but I already gifted it, so. Um, what, what was it? Her it was chicken. that little chicken, the little EMC squared chicken. He's like this big. Is that Susan B. Anderson? No, that was another Susan Claudino. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I do owe Eliza a ghosty in glow in the dark yarn so maybe i'll do that too this month i bought it last i bought the yarn last year and i never knit it mm -hmm. and i don't think she remembers so and it's like glow in the dark yarn right glow in the dark yarn and i'm she wants oogie boogie too so i'll have to find that yarn yeah and get that nice i've been buying a lot of patterns but still knitting on whip so mm -hmm. me too yeah i do think um 
Penny, if PJ Knits is going to do in January, she's going to do a hap along. Mm -hmm. And I have a kit for a hap, uh, like just a half, half shawl, mm -hmm. um, which I think I'll do that. Oh, that'll I be have fun. a kit already, and it's in a, like a forest green. Um, it's just one color, so. Oh, that'll be pretty. Yeah. I haven't even thought that well, far ahead. My Christmas knitting has pretty much gone out the window, so. I still have a few pairs of socks to knit. The only thing I really think I will get done is probably Max's dice bag. The one I knit for Tate. If you're knitting one like that, it took me a it's day. It's not too late for us to just have a crank party and everybody's getting socks. I'm really going to do all the heels, toes, and cuffs, though. We'll so. do it together. There's three yeah. of us. We'll put on... I do have lots of yarn I could do. I could do Did socks. Did they fix it? it? No, not yet, but I have like probably 12 skeins of yarn cranked. We'll do it at our sleepover. There you go. But uh, I have become selfishly knitting because I didn't get to knit for so long. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, so, they if you're get, knitting, do what you They want. can get gift cards. They'll be all right. They can get books. They can get lots of other gift certificates to activities. Yeah. I can get pottery classes. That was a hit with. Yeah. And Abby loves. They're not pottery classes, but they're like they have the pottery already made, and the kids paint mm -hmm. it paint and they it. glaze mm -hmm. it, and like that's a hit. They do a lot of those at Broadway Clay. Mm -hmm. We did one one day mm -hmm. with the yarn bowl. Yep. As a parent, I kind of like that stuff. Like I'm tired of stepping on toys and. <laughs> you know throwing things away that they've outgrown so i love it when kids get experiences instead of another godzilla for me to step on at two in the morning and invent cuss words yeah the yeah. little little bastard's pointy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm trying to think of like what kind of experiences i could purchase for the girls because ellie could do the clothing mm -hmm. because she's old enough but the other ones aren't old enough for things like that yet. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hmm. It may be that they get, like, just a day out with me and they, cool. you know, by Maybe. themselves or something. Maybe our viewers have some good ideas for experiences yeah. to do for, with... Four and under. Yes. With the top crowd. Yeah. I'm sure they'll think of something. I'm sure. Not me. I'm mentally fried. But it's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Yeah. It's yes. Long you made week. it to vacation. It has been a long week. Yeah. You've made it to it's puppy. Yes. We go pick up our puppy. We got a pug puppy. She's so sweet. And she is black, so she's a complete opposite color of Hamilton Beans. Mm -hmm. And not a Frenchie. So we talked as a family, and Eliza made the point that she wasn't quite ready for another Frenchie. And I had found this little puppy, and she was black and a pug, and completely different than what we had before. And... So we're getting her, and her name is Pearl, as in P-U-R-L. Perfect name. Yeah. I got that one through. That's so exciting. Um, But we go and pick her up on Saturday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Eliza's been beyond excited ever since we went, we went down last Saturday and met the puppies. And we had toyed with the idea of getting two, and we thought that's what we were going to do. We were set on it, and then uh, anxiety and yeah. real world. We all are a busy family, and Eliza's a very busy girl. She's very active. And, you know, we all kind of were like, ah, it's not fair to bring home two. You know, we can't train them the way mm -hmm. we would want to. And yeah, so we made the decision that we were only going to get one which is the wisest choice and probably should have been the choice all along, but whatever, live and learn. 
Uh, you're high on puppy breath. I don't know what to feel Yeah, who can... Right, who can say no? Who can say no when they're looking at you with their little... Oh, with their little faces. Um, but yeah. So, we have a new puppy coming, so... Yay! And we decided that, you know, it... I don't... We don't ever... I'm not... We had a little girl puppy before, like... Mm -hmm. But she passed, but... Like, a long time ago. But we don't usually have girl puppies and we're like well i was like this way hammy still gets to be the bestest good boy forever mm -hmm. yeah we have a girl That's puppy right. um so that'll be a little bit different i'm sure maybe i don't know is it i mean are girl puppies different than boy puppies yes mm -hmm. huh? yes okay they're in my experience though because i've had pups of all genders but the females have always been extra snuggly the females were always the ones that wanted to, like we had this big German shepherd and when we went to bed at night, she wanted to curl up behind my legs and sleep in the little crook oh, or if I'm on the, I'm so sad. If I'm on the couch, Not. they'd be like, like right up on me. Exactly so, what you want. That's exactly yeah. what I want. Yeah, so the, I mean, for me, the girls have always been snugglers and the boys <coughs> have always just been kind of doofuses. Like, yeah, you know? Him was dingy, but he was, yeah. he was a snuggler. Yeah, I mean, you know, they mean well, but just bless their hearts <laughs> like, I haven't had a girl puppy in a long time um but all the all the boys we've had just hyper yeah really hyper yeah totally very, have to play with them constantly yeah and just simple they're very simple I'm sure there'll be pictures on Instagram they're easy to please they always want to play like they're and that's what's nice about them because girl dogs can be I mean I perpetuate a stereotype they can be a little sensitive. Like, you can hurt their little feelings. Yeah. Well, I'm not about that life. I don't really want to be hurting little puppies' feelings. Me. Well, so it, it's not that you meant to. It could just be that, like, three treats is one too many. And, <laughs> and no, Pearl's, you don't need another one. Pearl's feelings are hurt. Well, <laughs> girls are going to have to get over it. Good mom. But I want a treat. Like, I do the cutes. And I get the treats. Mm -mm. But, yeah. So, there'll be lots of pictures, I'm sure. Yes. And, and, there'll be lots of knits, because yes, you got... because I ordered the West Knits, Pest, West Knits Pet, Pet Knits one. Um, I had been all set to order it when it came out, because they were coming out, like, one by one back in May. And I was like, I'm going to order this, because I'm going to make Hanny some sweaters. Mm -hmm. Because he has Frenchies, so I figured they have to fit, obviously. They fit his cute mm -hmm. little Frenchies. And then Hanny passed, and I was like, can't do it. Cannot do it. Will not do it. And I just, I couldn't. Yeah. I still wanted them because I knew at some point we would get another dog, but I was like, I'm not doing it till we so you have to put it on. And so Sunday morning I ordered the book. Pearl's going to be so cute. What kind of yarn do they use for dog sweaters? Like yarn. If you and Wes, it's, it's just, probably anything you just got. Just wool and whatever. He just kind of rolls with it, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a color palette in mind for Pearl? She's black. She's more anything. That's, that is true. She goes with that. She goes with everything. She does have like a little white dot like right here, like a little, a little pearl. star chest. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So she's cute. She'll be I she'll be it. cutie. I love it. But I figure any color goes. She can pull off any color in the world. Mm -hmm. So I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I found a banana costume and I almost bought it, but I did not. I've okay. been seeing very cute. Yeah. Very I was cute gonna show the strength. <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> Eliza was like, "What do you mean you didn't buy it?" <laughs> I like the ones where it makes the dogs look like little spiders. Like all the legs are coming off there. Yeah. Ollie, if you put something like that on Ollie, he would just freeze, it, and he wouldn't move. <laughs> I mean, we tried putting a sweater on him one time, and he went literally went. Well, to start her out really young, so did she not, doesn't have any yeah. any reason to. I did find on Pinterest like little like to make little ribbon flowers, like the little puffy ribbon flowers that you can slide onto her collar to be fancy. I love like, it. I'm a dork. We love and it. And I'm gonna do it. This dog's gonna be so spoiled. I know. So Pammy pampered. was spoiled. I know. She's gonna look like. You know, when the moms have the babies and they put those massive yes! bows, or like the bow is bigger than the whole child. Yeah. Like, that's going to be this pup. I'm not mad about it. Does Matilda Jane make dog clothes? Probably not, but I'm sure I can figure it out. I bet they do. 
I bet they do. I've, I've found, seen. They had like little ones that were like bow bows and like they were in plaids for like the fall. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. But the price of them was a little bit more. Like I was like, I could get two yards of flannel for that. For sure. And all the pieces to put it together. Bro, mm -hmm. I may or may not have found a tutorial on how to do it myself. <laughs> She has been She's an on the web. Rabbit holes. <laughs> Do you have dog treat recipes? Say, I probably have them from way back. From forever. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yay for puppies. Yep, we got our bark box coming, so. And sweater weather is coming, so yay for I need that. to get on that. Next Saturday, like not this coming, but the Saturday that's 10 days away, the high is like 60 and the low is oh, 43. Oh, so I'm going to come back to good weather. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you're it's going to be in the 80s. You're going, going down to the easy bake oven, but when yeah. you come back, it is going to be good. delicious. Ooh, it's going to be in the high 80s in Florida. It's going to be good October weather. I mean, you know, that's nice for vacation. I guess. But I don't like that kind no. of weather. I, even for vacation. It's going to be so nice when you come back. It will feel extra cool. Yeah, because... I love it. I love it. Yeah. It'll be perfection. Yeah. And we've already decided, like, we're going to go to the beach in the morning, you know, mm -hmm. and then come back and eat and nap. Well, we'll go out to lunch and then come back and let the kids be in the pool or on the playground in the afternoon, which means I get to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> and... Do yes. you prescribe to knitting? And yes, yes. And I now have, I was telling Lindsay earlier, I have so many exercises to do and you have to do them three times a day. I literally could spend two hours a day just doing the occupational therapy exercises. Oh, goodness. So, do you have anything exciting coming up? It's a week? lot. Or next week? Your kids aren't on break, are they? My kids go on break the, the week after? First full week of October. Um... <laughs> Because Eliza's on this coming week. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. Like now? Like, she's kind of on break right now? Does she have school on Monday? No. no? Okay, so she's on right now. Our, the, Yours is the, the following after. week. Yeah. And then they gave them off the Friday beforehand, too. I'm like, you're killing me! Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't take it away for the Luke I, Bryan day. I yeah. already have to They Well, there was a different day that they'd mm -hmm. taken away for Luke Bryan day. I'm going to give you an extra Friday. Oh, no. We're going to have bad winters. They're going to wish they had that day for a snow day later. Yeah. They'll just make them do it in like a work, a school from home day. The non-traditional instruction. Yeah. Yeah, where they yeah. do that on the computer. Yeah, but otherwise, no, I don't really have anything. I did get a bunch of new dye in. Well, not a bunch. I got like four new colors, but I am so excited. And I got a new respirator mask, which is, you know, boring for everybody else, but fun for me. Yay! Yay! So, got that. And um, what else? I'm going to be, I've been working on project bags, so I'll show you those real quick. Because um, these cute. Because these cute. Everything, almost everything is cute when it's little. That's very true. Absolutely. So I these like are, That's what I have. these are just little sock Oops. bags. I have the bigger, um, Aren't they cute? Store, and I have that one. And they just, they're very simple. Like they, there's no pockets or anything because that takes up too much room in my case. So it's just, it's enough to hold your sock, your cake, your needles, your notions. Drawstring closure. I love that. Closure too. I like the handle. I love the handle, and I really like the. Uh, there's two yeah, kinds of bottoms bottom. that I carry in the shop. I box the bottom of all my bags because I want it to be able to stand up on a table or on the floor or wherever you set it down. And I use duck canvas because it's just a little more stain resistant. I've got y'all. I'm a hot mess, so it's I'm dirty here to too, help. So it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will sit up easier. It has a little more structure to it. They are interfaced, but the canvas helps with that. So yep. the other kind of bottom is the cork bottom. These I do charge a little more for. I actually charge $5 more a bag because the cost of the cork is. The cork is oh, yeah. it has paisley on top. How cute. Isn't it precious? Yeah. I love paisley. Um. Oh, that's adorable. 
door. And it's got a coral inside. So oh, I put pockets in that one. Yeah, I put pockets in that one. That's adorable. And it adorbs. Got the socks and cherries. I love the cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. And where's my other one? This one? No. Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. Dinosaur. I have a dinosaur, dinosaur bag. It's fantabulous. I love it. And I have the books. They're cute. cute. It held cute. my um my chicken very well. Oh, huge. I had a hoe. I forgot to tell you. Oh, no. That. Sorry. There's a hoe in the house. This is the, it's a toe up shorty sock with a fish lips kiss heel that I made with the leftovers that Lindsay gave me. This was Abby's Artistic Creations Secret Garden. Artistic Yarn by Abby. Artistic Yarn by Abby. Thank you. Um... So I did a toe up just to make sure that I had the yardage that I needed for everything. I only did a five row um, cuff. And I think, obviously when I do the other one, I'm gonna match the pair, but going forward, I think I'm gonna try it with a 10 row uh, and see if I like that better. The five works fine as far as function, but most of, like I wear socks and shoes Sometimes, but again, I'm a homebody, so a lot of my sock use is just like wearing them around the house. Me too. And if I don't have shoes on, I feel like I need the extra rows to like hold it. Yeah, or to just or... not feel like it's hitting at a funny place. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we'll try that on the next shorty sock, but yeah, forgot that. I had to jump back in. Whoop. <laughs> my bad. You found it. It's all good. So, that's really all I got. Me too. Yeah. Just knit no way on Christmas thing. Mm hmm This wancho. The never ending wancho. Yeah, I'll have made quite a bit of How long are the sleeves? I think we talked about that last time. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're it's I don't not think like you have to knit full length sleeves and you're done. Like Tammy's I think you've got like about here. here. Oh no, I'm having them go all the way down. Yeah. Tammy said I don't want here. Because mm -hmm. she likes the more like a bracelet length because she wears lots of jewelry. So I made sure they were up higher. Oh, on hers. I like that. Yeah, she likes that kind of length. I need sweater. to start knitting mine to just be. I guess this is technically three quarters, but every sweater I have, I like the I option pull to push up. it up. I cannot stand the feeling of anything down around my wrist. Like I don't know why. Ooh. You should just knit them that length then. Just, I, that's what I'm saying. I yeah, think I need to just yeah, to knit them time. that length and then not have that wear and tear too of like tugging it up and pulling it there yeah. and like I can get Stretching a better fitting a ribbing if I don't decrease all the way down because I, you know, it, I have to, it depends on the mood I'm in when I'm knitting it because I've knit long sleeve, I've knit short sleeve, mm -hmm. I've knit elbow length and three quarter. I, it's just the mood I'm in. When I get to the sleeve, what I want. Mm -hmm. Then I just knit that. I just, I like them all. But I do, the long sleeve ones I do pull up because mm -hmm. I like to pull my sleeves up. Yeah. I mean, same. I guess it's nice to have the full sleeve option for those times when you're like running out to the mailbox or you're doing like the pickup or whatever and you don't want to put a whole jacket on. Like it's nice to have mm -hmm. a full, a uh, full length sleeve. It's more of like an outer garment yeah. at that point. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay. I figure I'll knit this skein, and then I've got two full skeins left, and I'm going to, once I finish this one, I'm going to go to the sleeves and then knit whatever's left on, to put on the body yeah. once I finish the sleeves. Did you, did you swatch for this? <laughs> Crickets chirping. Did you hear that? <laughs> Nothing. Did she swatch for this? I don't think I did. If I did, I just did like a quick swatch. I don't think you see did. See what it looked I'm like. I'm so surprised you're Dudley do right. I'm so surprised. She doesn't like to swatch. I don't like to swatch. Well, I know you I do, do like micro swatches, swatches, but. No, I ripped it out because I was afraid I was going to run out of yarn. I think I did the whole thing where you like yeah. measure as you go. Nothing wrong with that. I was just curious because it's a woolier yarn. What happens? Um, it shouldn't really stretch 
<coughs> at all. And it's going to bloom a little bit, actually. But as far as, like, length and stuff, I don't mm -hmm. think no. it's not going to grow. I don't think so either. Isn't that... that The reason I ripped this back was I had not done a swatch either. And I measured it and realized that my gauge was too small. So I went from a 10 size needle to a 10 and a half. And that made up the difference. But I didn't have a gauge swatch either. So I think it'll, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. I don't have extra space anyway, so if not, I'll just go get another scan of it somewhere. Well, plus none of brought back those two balls. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm winter's beaching it, but surely to goodness between the two. So we well, and I also have quite a bit left out. over of these colors. So if all else fails, oh, I could you just could get funky. make stripe. Like, like, I could whatever. stripe the bottom. You could I do the <coughs> Charlie Brown stripe again at the, uh, the wrist. I could do that, yeah. or I could just make like mm -hmm. a stripe of the color to add some more length if I need to. So oh, yeah. I'm not. I always think that's cute. You could pop off and do a totally different waistband color like I did. With the I Winter's totally Beach. could pop off and do that. I have quite a bit of purple. I think I have quite a bit of purple. I think I have the most of the yellow, but yellow, yeah, because you didn't use so much of it there. Yeah. I don't know that I would do that in the yellow. Yeah. But that was also down here where it was larger, mm -hmm. like I had more stitches, so there might be less of it. The purple wasn't more up towards the top. A lot of increasing. Yeah. I think I knew that. Yeah. But on this, it calls for a ribbed bottom. I think I'm gonna do a split hem instead. I like a split hem. I love the look of a split hem, and I feel like they wear better. I think they lay. Yeah, I think that's what I mean. Like you don't have to, you don't have to tug at them to keep them down or whatever. They yeah, just, they, they lay there. Sit yeah. very nicely, and when you sit. They're very, you know, they're comfortable. You don't have to worry about it being pulled down too far when you sat down. And then when you stand up, it's like mm -hmm. messed yeah. up. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think I'm going to do on this. I think it's a good idea. That'll be cute. Yeah. Hopefully the next time we're together, I will have... I'm not going to say it'll be done, but hopefully it's closer to Ooh, being I'm done. I'm hoping this one's done by the next time we're together. Fingers crossed. So you. Yeah, you can do it. Right on a bulky, you can do it. Knitting is medicine. Mm -hmm. And if I they don't let you knit, you can be like, wait, you're not letting me do what the doctor ordered. So That's go right. do your own stuff. That's right. Bye. But I love it. It really, it does, it did not, I had to call and ask them. I could not find it when I went to order the second skate because it doesn't fall under the bulky weight yarn description mm. because it's really tiny. So mm. when you filtered it down, it was. Yeah. So they sent me the link to where it was. Oh. But, um, it becomes bulky because it's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. That's where it becomes bulky. I love it. That is such an interesting but, texture. Uh, I love it. It's like teddy bear. It's like it's made of teddy bears. Mm -hmm. I, when I put it on yesterday to try it on, it was like so nice and cozy up around the neck. And mm -hmm. it was like, oh, it's really cute. So really I'm cute. excited. And it will go with everything I own. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that too. It's a good gray. Yeah. So do you have in mind, like, what your future knits will be? Have you thought about, like, what's the next cast on? Maybe my turtle dove. That yarn takes up a lot of room in my stash. So yeah. maybe that one. It'll yeah. be a good time of year to knit it, too, because yeah. it'll be done just in time. Yeah, for, like, and it's that blown yarn, mm -hmm. so it's nice and lofty. And I have a lot, I have a lot of it. And it's just so voluminous in your cube, uh -huh. like storing, it's gonna take more room than uh -huh. the actual garment. So I think that might be the next one. Okay. Yeah. What about you, besides the hat? I need to work on a couple more pairs of socks. I need to do a couple of knits. Do you have a fun knit in mind? Like the next thing that's for you? Halloween. Yeah, the Halloween. I'd like to cast it on Sunday. We'll see how I get. I figured I'd knit that while everyone's doing the mystery knit along. Mm -hmm. Just in case. I, even though I already bought it, so. Whatever, whether I like it or not, yeah. I already have it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. 
I mean, it'll be fine. All of her stuff's cute anyway. They, and the so. clues come out every day for like 13 days. I mean, they're quick clues. So that's pretty cool. I love yeah. that, but it would be, I would it's be a little terrifying. That person who would be like, I have to finish this clue today. Yeah, yeah. I must finish this clue today. And it would probably. Yeah, because that's just how I am. Yep. Like with an advent. Riddled with artificial stress. Right? Yeah, same. Um, uh, like an advent, I must finish that color in that day. Like, I know, I joked that one year I'm going to get Lindsay a, a 50 gram advent because that would just be hell for her. That would be terrible. It would be wonderfully. You don't like the 20 gram ones. No, so. I specifically got a 20 I gram lovingly one. hate it so much. I, yeah, <laughs> you, you can't be mad at the yarn, but then I. Oh my goodness! I can't finish that. I'd be getting, I'd be getting hate mails from Jason. Like, where are my cookies? All she's doing is knitting. Right. I would have no time for candies. I would have no time for cookies. I would have no time for anything. (sighs) But I like the ten gram because I can sit down in the morning and like knit a little bit before work, and Mm -hmm. then I still am able to get that done that afternoon when I come home to finish it. So, I guess you know, I noticed when we went to. Bull gathering, but I had missed the memo when minis became 10 gram more often than 20 gram. We yeah. struggled to find yes. them at wool gathering. And I guess that, I don't know, I'm just, I'm surprised by that. Um, did y'all know that? Did anybody I'm tell you guys that minis myself. have become 10s? That you know, I mean, I think originally they were all 10s and then they went really? to 20 because yeah. the first couple of I vents I did they it was only a ten gram option. Okay. Um yeah. And then they became twenty grams. And when I was looking for twenty grams this time, I couldn't find them. Yeah. Until we hit Indigo Guinea. And I think hers are twenty five. Yeah. Um that's not we so were many. for a, a yardage. A yeah, we needed yardage. certain yardage. That's a fat quarter. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. But Maybe it's because I, prior to the most recent couple of years, I've always been a sock knitter, um, like by far. And so sock sets to this day still, the mini is generally a 20. 20. Um, there's a couple of them out there that they do like two minis and they're two tens or whatever. That, that's not for me. I don't like changing yarn that much, but um, they're cute. They're really cute. Oh, yeah. Totally. But yeah. I totally thought they were all 20s, and then when we were looking around, we I didn't notice it until we you did. pointed We struggled it out. to find those. Yeah. yeah. But luckily, we found somebody who had the right kind of colors, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, she had gorgeous colors. Mm-hmm. And if y'all have never heard of um, Indigo Guinea, definitely check her out. Her speckling is beautiful. Yeah. Her colors her are color very pretty. pretty. Really pretty. Yeah, and pretty different, I think, from... Um, from anybody else out there. She's got a very unique mm-hmm. color sense. Um, she's very nice. Yeah, a lot of pastels and um, yeah, she was, she was super friendly. She was super friendly. So. Oh yeah, yeah I like her. I don't know what I'm looking here. You got anything planned? Work on your winter's beach. Yeah, I'm just gonna be working on the winter's beach. Um, I'm really, I have, I think I said this last time, but I've just been in the mood where I really just want to finish whips. And so, and not just finish whips, but I'm kind of wanting to like pick this winter's beach up and then just knit that all the way through until it's done. And then I will pick up another sweater whip and see that through until it's done. Yeah. And that's whatever I don't frog. There were several, I went through and I sorted my craft room before we went to, um, wool gathering so that I could just see if there were any like holes in my stash or anything like that and um, when I did I pulled all the whips uh, out and I set them to the side and so ever since then I'm trying to only work on whips and so I keep you know looking over at the pile and digging through and finding what I want to work on but if there is stuff that continues to stay and it's never what I want to pick up and work on then eventually I am going to frog it. Um, so there's a couple things that I think already are heading to the frog pond, just like sweaters that I like, but I'm not going to finish them out or whatever. Um, so I'm going to keep working on the winter's beach. 
think that's it. I don't think I have anything else going random on. Random socks. Yeah. Socks are always on the go. Yeah, random socks. I have been feeling called to shawls, I think, because it's fall, and yeah. I just love that as a transitional piece. Um, so I'm super curious to see. I am not participating in the Stephen West mystery knit along. Not because I didn't want to. I actually really wanted to. And I have a feeling that it's going to be a good one this year. Mm -hmm. I liked I the so. theme. I liked the color sets that were put forward. The shawls that he said that size-wise it would be similar to were like the star flake, which I loved. Um, so I am kind of looking forward to seeing how everybody else's shawl turns out. Um, I did want to knit it, but I told myself I was not going to participate if I didn't get the twist and turns finished, and I did not do that. So every time I picked it up, it just seemed like such a mental burden to figure out where I had left oh, off. No. Like that's oh, the hardest yeah. part. Yeah. That's the worst part. So I just I didn't do it. Um, Maybe one day you sit down and you figure it out. Yeah. And you put it away, but you make notes. Make a note and So then the next time you go to pick it up, you know exactly yeah. where you are. I have nobody to blame but myself. If I used Ravelry and made those notes, Same. <laughs> I wouldn't be in this boat. I should be so much better at Ravelry than I am. Usually I don't put my notes in until I finish a project. So, you know, all of the decreases I've done on this are actually written on my paper pattern. Oh, yeah. I actually wrote that down on my paper pattern but because I want to knit it again in the other color. So, there you go. I think, like, for the most, I usually, I use Knit Companion in my iPad when I knit. I love um, digital knitting patterns. I like paper, but I love digital. And, um, so I know that like up until a certain point, I was doing a good job of like keeping track of the little digital row counter and like there's a little highlighter bar that you move down to keep your spot. Um, however, I was on the clue where it's this long strip of like a twisted waving cable. And on that, I did not keep track of the rows because it wasn't super relevant. Oh, I never finished my contrast last socks. Did you finish your last, um, the shawl, the cow, with the loops? No. Okay. I guess I got those on the go, too. I should probably sit down and finish those. Who are you, Ethan? It's your fault. <laughs> your fault. <laughs> Terrible influence, as you all are. <laughs> I do like a lot of projects on the go. It's sitting in my, in my craft room. And I saw them the other day and I was like, hmm, nah. maybe. Nah. I'm just always I like that bag. I really should get rid of that project. I'm, I'm always. It, you have different moods for knitting. You know, I'm always in the mood to knit different things, or maybe I want it to be more simple, or I want it to be more complicated, or I have sure, five yeah. minutes, or, you know, I have an hour, or whatever. I just, I want the variety. Me too. But I immensely respect people that I think that they just have such self discipline and self control to I have no self discipline. And I don't want it. <laughs> I've done all right without it. But I so admire the trait in other people that they just like methodically pick a project up and knock it out. Like uh, one of our viewers actually that I follow on Instagram, um, Tressa, she won um, one of the skeins mm -hmm. for the 500 subscribers. And she's a machine. Like if you're watching this, kudos. Like she cast on a beautiful Hohe shawl, I think maybe a dotted raise, and just like, not a race, Stephen West, did yeah. it? No, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. Not a race. I don't know. I should have looked that up. That's okay. She knocked it out. Like she Whatever just... it was, it got knocked out. Yeah. Oh, I have my uh, hipster on the needles, too. And oh, your um, eyelid burst. But you said you might burst. turn that into something else. Well, if, even if I don't, even if I continue to, I gotta rip it way back. Because all of a sudden my eyelet 
line went. Uh, so yeah, I made a mistake somewhere. So oopsie daisies. And it's just too obvious to keep it there. That's how it is with the uh, cinnabar shawl that I showed a couple of episodes back. Um, I mean, brioche is tricky. It's not. It's simple, but when you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Yeah, it's yeah. super easy to see, and you just, it's important that you not get distracted. Yeah. And I struggle with that. understand. So, I'm going to pull it, I'm going to rip it out. I don't think it's going to be a, a cinnabar. I think that I'm going to use That's that. awesome yarn that you can repurpose yeah. for something just as awesome. I think I'm going to um, knit something else with that, but I do want to knit a shawl, so... Have to figure that out. What weight is it? It's, sport weight. it's two different weights actually. It's a um, sport weight and a DK because that's part of what enhances the brioche effect is that it's not the same weight of yarn so it kind of pulls it. And anyway I mean it, it is a beautiful shawl and it is beautiful yarn but I think in this case um, I'm going to use that yarn for something else. I don't blame you. And then knit the shawl in. Um, I don't know. Down the road when I have the brain space for it. Makes sense. Alrighty. Alrighty. Happy knitting. That's all we got. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. See you next time.